Hello, no, we've got to change that around. Yeah, hey, how you doing? It is the, uh, what month are we in? June. Um, quick fix Instagram live thing. Hello, Rocco, how you doing? Um, so it, we're going to do it a bit different. Um, hello, Ch Chef Rox, how you doing? Um, we're going to do a bit different and we're going to, because it's Prince's birthday, Anybody who plays a Prince song can play two songs. So you can play your own song, but also if you play a second one. Uh, Rocco, we're actually, Grace is all set up ready, and we're going to just do a quick Prince song, and then everybody else can uh, do what they want. Uh, this is, yeah, I don't know, it's quite under-rehearsed, so let's see how it goes. Uh, there's Grace, by the way, hello. hello. And, um, yeah, we're going to do Blue Light from um, the Symbol album. So let's give it a go. Can you hear that? Okay. For something to get us in the mood Well I tell Each and every one of my friends That the love we make Is really pretty rude But they don't believe me Cause it's written all over my face Like Evian in the deep blue sea you and me got different tastes You like it in the dark But I like the blue light Can you turn on the blue light And cuddle up to me so tight Just you and me All night, all night Blue light and Can you turn on the blue light And everything will be alright It way too far Baby Well that's the problem With you and I Well you say Not in public But I'll see you in the car Yeah Need to get wild again Like it was When we first met and close your eyes and count to ten And when you open them I'll be standing naked with nothing but a smile on the blue light Can you turn on the blue light? And everything will be alright You and me all night, all night Blue light or Can you turn on the blue light? And everything will be alright Oh, blue light I'll be Well, a hundred and seventeen And you'll be still saying, baby, not tonight, yeah Well, it's easy To see us on the cover of a magazine well, a double hat attack, couple both died in a fight, yeah Come here together, don't wanna cross that road Cause I love it too much Well, I would do anything just to heat up your cold touch Anything but good to but up until I tell you to the blue light Can you turn on the blue light? Cuddle up to me so tight Just you and me All night, all night Blue light Can you turn on the blue light And everything will be alright, alright
there you go. Uh, that was a jam out of Blue Light by Prince. Um, yes, Grace on the guitar indeed. She had a reggae hat on as well. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> so yeah, okay, cool. That was that then. That's off the symbol album. The symbol album, and um, yeah, that's a reggae tune for your summer. So let's get on with the rest of the show. Uh, Rocco sounded like he was ready, so we'll just get on with that, I guess. Thanks, Grace. Thanks. Well done. Um. Oh. Hello, dude. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Happy June. I'm all right. Yep, cool. Um, I just got my guitar. Getting the getting the uh, the the captain's cool. Captain Kirk's chair. Yeah. <laughs> so, how have um, you been? Yeah, I've been great, thanks. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Just been working really, really hard, actually. Like, uh, got like tons going on with the label at the moment. Like, both in front of, in front of the scenes and behind the scenes. Well, I was going to say behind the scenes, and then I didn't. I started with in front. So yeah, but but yeah, just tons yeah. and tons going on. So, so yeah, just been really, really. Oh, sounded busy. really good just then. Um, Thanks. Yeah, great. Yeah. Grace pulled it together on the guitar last minute, and we were like, oh, what should we do? We we're going to do a completely different song. And then we were like, it was quite sunny. It wasn't as sunny as it could have been, but yeah, it was quite sunny. So we thought we'd go with the reggae vibe. And Prince doesn't, like, he's, yeah. he's got only about four reggae songs or something, but they're all really good. Like, you wouldn't imagine, like, necessarily a guy from Minneapolis where it's always snowing would be very good at reggae. But they're all really solid, solid efforts, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. Uh, what are you going to play? I'm going to play maybe tomorrow today, but I did um, do a last minute prepare preparation for a bit of um, the chorus of Purple Rain, if you want me to play that just before I do. Uh, maybe yeah, that. yeah, do it, do it, do it. Um, okay. Purple Rain, Purple Rain. Nice. What I really want to hear, I want to hear you doing all the soloing all over it. What we need, you need a loop pedal so that you can just have those chords going on in the background. You can just wail out for like six minutes and stuff. Yeah, That's what we want to see. Um, with one of my bands back in the day, um, Muchos Muchos, which is Nature Just So, which is great. Um, but yeah. yeah. Wicked. Awesome. So, okay, so I'll let you do your song anyway and I'll get out of your way. But, um, but yeah, cool. Awesome. Take it away, dude. Yeah, so today I'm doing Maybe Tomorrow by Starphonics.
nice, dude. That sounds your vo that um chorus suits your voice really nicely, doesn't it? Thanks. Suits really well. You've got like your um control over your voice is like really coming on in in that regard as well. Sounds great, wicked. Yes, Finian, it does sound good, doesn't it? The home team oh. supporting you there. So, <laughs> so yeah. So what what's on the what's on the cards for summer then? Have you fin are you finished for school or are you broken up no. from school or not? I'm just fini finishing my um uh, my half term and then I'm going back to a couple of uh, exams. One of them's being physics and uh, oh. I'm planning that for my mum and dad. So oh. crikey, good luck. Oh, was... <laughs> good luck with the physics. Yeah, I'm like yeah, I, I can't give you any advice in that regard. If you need some rock advice, then come this way. But if it's physics, stay stay away from me. <laughs> Wicked. Awesome. Well, good luck with the exams and everything. So I guess you might have to slow down a bit on the guitar to do some revision for a bit. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. You'll come. It's it's muscle memory. It will all come back as soon as you come back to it. That's. <laughs> yeah, but um, thank you. I hope your um, your stuff goes really well with your um, your label. Hopefully we'll see, I guess, like it's all just down to people listening really, isn't it? And like, I guess, uh, eventually buying some bits and stuff like that. But it's just about like whether it captures people's imagination. So kind of hope so. So we'll we'll, we'll find out the, the proof of the pudding being in the eating, they say, isn't it? So, yeah. But um, where could you take care of yourself, dude? Yeah, Will you, you disconnect yourself? Because I don't know how to do that yeah. without stopping the whole thing. But oh. yeah. Take care, buddy. Everybody go follow Rocco. He's amazing. Every single day, there's awesome guitar stuff on there. And yeah, just and bass stuff as well. The bass has been really good lately, dude. So yeah, wicked. Take care of yourself then, buddy. Yeah, you too. See you later. Bye. Cool, man. Take care. Bye. Okay, cool. Right. That was wicked. Yeah. Um, awesome. So hello, everybody. Wicked. Loads of, loads of people popping in. Nice to see you all. Um, who wants to uh, play and sing? If you want to play and sing, then please say, yeah, I'd, I'd like to play and sing. And then I'd like drop you in. Rocco Tiger Thomas, indeed. Yeah. Did I say it wrong? I might have got it wrong. I'd leave out. So, so casual with him now. That I leave out bits of his name. Um, but yeah, and also the Zoomed Out is the band that him and Finian are in. So if you go and follow them, I'm sure you can find the links through and I'll put it all in the description afterwards. Um, so who is going to play? Who is going to play? Days the band, are you going to play? I, I'm playing around on my mouse mat as if it's going to work on here. So weird. Okay, um, let's go live with Days. Let's see if they're ready. Hey, hello. <laughs> oh, How God. are you doing? Hello. Were you ready? Half ready. Um, well, we're part ready. There's football playing. Daisy loves the football, so she's watching it. Do you, no. do you love football? <laughs> oh, he loves football. Right, okay. It's the band, band prank, was it? Yeah. yeah. So, who do you support? What football is on? I gave up on football a while back. When I realised I was going to be a musician, I realised that I couldn't be depressed because of, like, like, a load of people playing on a pitch somewhere way, way far away, and so there'd be enough reasons for me to be be depressed being a musician that I didn't need to add to it by relying on my day being happy or not depending on whether out, I think. Uh, who do you support oh uh, I don't really support anyone I used to as a kid Man United but right so you still but... Man United match oh, no I don't know but England are on at the minute oh are they I, I, see that's how far I've drifted away from the accents I didn't even know when England are playing now but I used to be a Spurs no. fan and that was really hard Sorry. I can see why you were depressed. <laughs> yeah, it was like it was, it was dizzying heights and terrifying lows. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just too much. Yeah. Like, yeah, so, so I just couldn't have my heartstrings kind of stretched and pulled about. Do you know what I mean? By eleven, by eleven, well-paid men yeah, no, in London. Not worth it. Not worth it. Do you know? Mad. Yeah. So yeah. So what are you going to play anyway for us? Um, Is it? Um, are you doing uh, Three Lions by? The no, we'll, 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 that'll, be we'll next time. that'll be next time, definitely. Okay. Are you doing uh, World in Motion by New yeah. Order? Yeah, we'll do that one next time too. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. So next time, just a full-on yeah. football set. Okay. Next, 
bit of Ness and Dorma, is it? Oh, yeah. You can do that one as well. Oh, brilliant, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could chuck in Barcelona just for the yeah. sake of it anyway, just because it was once the theme. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pat just said, being Spurs fan teaches you a lot. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, cool. Okay, well, we'll let you play a song instead of teasing your future football favourites set, which I, I think is going to be a big hit this summer, being honest. Right? We should just so, do it. No, oh. that's the worst. And this is a new song of yours you're doing? Yes, it? so we're going to do Star Signs, which is coming out at the end of the month. 25th. The 25th. That's not the end. You're writing off a whole month like a week early. Which well, it's the, last last Friday. it's the last Friday, <laughs> we think. I think it was the last Right, Friday. okay, gotcha. Okay, and, and what Star Signs are each of you? Um, I don't even know. I'm a Pisces, he's a Cancer. I, I'm not into it. I'm so a Pisces either. as well. There you go. Mm. There you go. Uh, yeah, okay. And uh, feel free to, if you want to get involved in this in the chat, say what your star signs are. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Just put a little symbol of your star sign. I can never, yeah, they've all got symbols, but I can never remember which one's mine. Which one's which? Yeah, I, I, mine's like, is it yeah, something I'll going the like it, opposite way? It's two fish swimming the opposite direction, isn't it? So yeah. Sums up my personality perfectly. So yeah, <laughs> Grace has got it going. See, there's Leo and she's got the sign in there. So I'll, I'll get out of your way and let you play this song oh. while all these star signs come up in the chat. It will make very entertaining for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Awesome. Good stuff. Another hit from Days. <laughs> Thank you. Another, another, another Days banger. I like the little <laughs> bit in the middle as well. That's really nice. Cheers. Wicked. Awesome. Cool. So the 25th, that's out. Yeah. And, yeah. Then it, 
And then when's your birthday then? Your birthday's in July then, I'm guessing. Well, no, his is the 28th of June. Oh, oh the 28th of June, right. You're on that little then. bit on the end of the month. Right, so three days after the single. I was very confused how you knew when my <laughs> birthday was. I was like, what? Yeah, you just told me. Like, you got oh, I don't, I don't it, was it, it was only three, it was three minutes ago. Like, literally, you just, yeah. you told me and then you played a song and then. I can't remember. <laughs> But yeah, no, Does everything goes out of your head. That's how focused enough. committed you are to your art. <laughs> you get focused, yeah, everything else leaves. Like it oh, races yeah. all time before. Halfway and that through. song maybe. I but, found yeah. myself looking up at the telly. Yeah, no, nothing's happened. Yeah. You're not... <laughs> Are we getting football getting... updates as well? Is this part of your <laughs> like you're gonna... <laughs> <It> must be <laughs> There's nothing to update on. Wicked, well we look forward to that single. And Thank you. cool, you take care of yourself. I presume you haven't got a Prince song because you guys are like uneducated, aren't you? At the moment, you're um, still kind of well, still not learning. Oh, I just I never got into Prince. I prefer like Beatles and stuff and stuff. How old are you? Twenty three. Yeah, you've got a lot of time, mate. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah no, I will when I'm older. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you get into recording, I think as soon as yeah. you get like deeply into recording, it's a natural progression. I'm a Beatles guy and a Hendrix guy and all that yeah. kind of stuff as well. But like Prince is kind of the '80s model of like a real yeah. musician, if you know yeah. what I mean. So, so it's just when you kind of move into that, really, he's a natural progression, definitely. Yeah. He'll all come along eventually. <laughs> don't worry. Wicked. Take care of yourselves, guys. Hey. Cheers, and uh, see see you soon. See you about on the internet. Yes. Wicked. Yes. You just connect yourselves and go and carry on watching the football, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Really? <laughs> Look after yourselves. Bye. Right, that was cool, wasn't it? Are you going to do the uh, Leon? You're going to do the pools. Do it when you come on. Do the pools. Um, da, 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 da. He's a cool dude because he likes the Beatles. I knew you'd say that only for George. Um, I've been. Yeah, I've been reading about George actually, and uh, yeah, in the new Uncut, which had prints in it. So I'll scan those and send them to you. Uh, who else is playing? Critical Bar, let's get you in. You've got a song out. We want to hear from you. Wait, there you are. Go live with Critical Bar. Anybody else who wants to play, just say, I want to play in there, and then hope that it doesn't. Um, well, did I not connect to them? Try it again. There you go. Hey, it worked. Hello. Hey. How are Ooh. you doing? Have we got sound? Well, yeah. how are you? Yeah, I'm all right. Cheers. How are you? Good. Good. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. How are you feeling? You've got your song out, kind of, in the world, like somewhat, partly in the yeah. world, at least. Yeah, excited. Uh, right. Love the promo that you did. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's good. Wicked. Good awesome. Stuff, yeah, man. great songs. Like, I, we've, we've had them, like, in our heads quite a lot right because i've been doing the remix i've had like mm. particularly homes oh, where i should be going on like, <laughs> just like doing some doing some washing up or something so, like, oh, where I so i'm already here like why is that oh, going off i'm already at home do you know or maybe it's saying that this isn't home i don't know but um i can't i some deep subliminal message trying to tell me something but yeah so so yeah but that's cool it's sounding really good and uh, yeah, and I've had denim and play the, I've, I've been working on a banging little dance mix. I, I did worry because I said to Grace, I think I might have turned Critic Cabal into Right Said Fred. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah. I don't think that's an insult in any way or any Not kind either. of bad thing whatsoever. So, but I'm obviously <laughs> worried about how the public and, and obviously yourselves will kind of take that. We're so, going to yeah, have to shave our heads or what's the deal? You, you don't have to. It's like, I think it's just the remix we played in clubs and people presume that you've got a bald head <laughs> and probably a bare <laughs> chest or something. Do you know what I mean? So, and then they'll just be disappointed when they come to see you. But then you won't play the dance remix anyway. So they'd, they'd already be like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, what's this? Do you know what I mean? If they came along like with their whistles and um, glow sticks and stuff. <laughs> Then they, you know, so yeah, it's cool. So what are you going to do for us today? Well, we have two to do, Prince cover and uh, Denim and Paisley. Uh, how are you Which doing? Which is the you sequel. Doing... That's the sequel to Diamonds and Pearls, isn't it? it yeah, exactly. I guess so. It's been a well-kept secret until now. but we've Well, now today's the day, really. To, <laughs> if you're going to 
drop that <laughs> bombshell on people then today would be the day. Hang on. I just I just have to read this out. Thanks, Leon. He says, I'm too sexy for my sofa. Yeah. Pretty yeah. good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> be so, nice yeah, to that in sofa. Was, in which case, get... dinner first, Leon. I'm sorry, what did you say? I said, be nice to that sofa, Leon. Take it out to dinner first. <laughs> yeah. um, I was going to make all sorts of other jokes, but I'll just let you play. Instead of doing sofa puns, <laughs> I think I'll let you play. Cool. Take it away, guys. Sure. I guess I'll have Devin Paisley first. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh. I just wanted to jump in there quickly because uh, I noticed uh, only for George said "Old Brown Shoe" is another Beatles reference. Is it a Beatles reference? Um, actually, it's a Tom Waits reference. He has a strip, uh, a song called um, "Brown Shoe." Ah, so, uh, that's one of the really, you if not his first album, uh, with one with the old fifty-five on it, I think. But, cool. Yeah. I just wanted to jump in there before we went into the next song and it went totally out of my head 
and far away on the comments, so I didn't remember it all. I like the uh, <laughs> the jeans. Can you see the? There's an emoji of some jeans with Ben, oh, and then it just says and Paisley. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Cool, oh, wicked, awesome. That's great, guys. I'll let you do your do your Prince cover. Oh, okay. that there's a little ditty by fellow Gemini, I believe. We're both yeah, Geminis. indeed, yes. In a purple way. Um, one, two, three, four. <laughs> As usual, I love you. I love how you do that. It's really good. Now, I hope you're going to have that in your live sets when you do live sets. Yeah, definitely keep it in there. And I'm yeah, even going to. That should be your obscure right. people pleaser thing. You know, like when people say, like, we're going to do a song by someone, and, he, and then everybody goes, like, way. And then they play the song and they go, I don't know this one by them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's this like huge peak of excitement, and then this kind of muted kind of response, like, oh, this isn't the hit, do you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, so that would be good. You should do that definitely. I remember uh, um, when we played a truck. I said like, "Who wants to hear some Bowie?" And I literally meant some Bowie. 
and it was like uh, in 2016. We went into just that riff at the end of um, at the end of Sweet Thing. You know, like the reprise that just goes da na da na 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 da na. Used to love it as kids, so I thought that'd be really cool. Everybody was like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I thought you were going to do like heroes or something. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. like, no, we're just like, <laughs> heroes before swine. Mm, what's that? Heroes before swine. Indeed. Yeah, diamonds and pearls, <laughs> even before diamonds swine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, cool. So um, people can obviously get your hold of your new single a month in advance by visiting our website and signing up to the Singles Club. Please do do that. It's only £10 for a whole year. You get like a whole surprise bands all the time. You've been you've been members for a bit. You've been enjoying it, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's definitely fantastic. value for money. Yeah, it totally is. And you, you know the whole the whole I the, the way it it networks people and uh, you know I just love the the showcase of new talent that is coming from different directions. So and yeah, yeah, I really appreciate the quality of it. So it's definitely awesome. uh, great. Well, that's, yeah, I mean, that, obviously, I have. Um, I've only so much to do with the quality in a weird way. Like, as in, I've got, it's like part of my, like, good choices, but they give me the stuff and it's already done. So, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, but... know. It, but... In our process, you're part of us getting the right drummer, of getting the right mastering. So you are part of the process. So that, yeah, That's good Bring to know, yeah. If, if anybody was ever going to call Dan anything, it, it should definitely be the right drummer. For yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely the right one. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, and I'm really glad that's worked out. That's really good. And I, I get yeah. to hear Jen and Dan play together. Um, and like, I always meant that to happen at some point. Then Pat came along and ruined all of that. So, you know, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, cool, wicked. Um, yeah. yeah, so we'll see yeah. more of you. I guess we're, we, what day were we doing this thing? We're doing an interview. We're going to do an Instagram live. Is that tomorrow? tomorrow? I think. Is tomorrow. it Monday? Yeah. Is it tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. I, so I'm told. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, <laughs> so everybody tune in to that. Well, did we say seven in the end? Yes. Yeah, Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> or did we say? Okay. I can't remember what we said. I was going to go and make like a flyer or something, and then like put it out tomorrow. But like, I would have known yeah. what the details were, and then I suddenly thought, oh, that's yeah. going on, isn't it? So yeah, but yeah. um. Yeah, just look out, like, tomorrow on their Instagram and on our Instagram, we'll be doing a chat yeah. at some point, and you yeah, can catch up more with Critic of yeah. and hear what makes them tick. Okay, great. Thanks, Thanks so much for the opportunity Thank to play. You. Okay, have Love fun, you everybody. Okay, so yes, guys, we use this Bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. How do I do it? Here's this old man doing technology. Happy Stop. birthday I'll press this button. And happy birthday for in a bit. Okay, wicked, awesome. What year is it Christmas Day? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, am I supposed to know these things? And uh, who wants to play? Um, I'm only running the label. Like, I'm not supposed to know when things are going on, am I? Um, who wants to play? Someone say, yeah, I want to play. I'm assuming you want to play, Leon. Um, Half Indie, are you, are you doing something? Are you doing a little something? Something, something? uh let's i'm gonna just dump in on leon and let's see where he is hopefully he's not like taking a minute to go to the toilet or something because oh no you haven't you're not on the toilet that's good i was worried that you you know you might be on the toilet suddenly like oh i'm not ready yet what me yeah i thought you might be you never know i didn't <laughs> i missed part of that uh on the yeah how, how are you anyway you're right yeah i'm not too bad sir how are you I'm all right. I'm a bit hot in my flat and I can't open the front window because the Banbury Road is so busy at the moment. The, sure. That's all we'll hear. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. and you're not doing, are you, you're not doing like some kind of weird ambient track that has traffic on it. This, well, this... I mean, that's the way forward, I think, you know, and just like have that as a 20 minute track. Problem and... is then when it gets popular and you have to take them on tour and you have to take the whole of Banbury Road on tour, it's going to be difficult. Do you know what I mean? So... It will be. It will be. I mean, like, you know, it's, uh, well, there's a load of guys with theodolites the other day surveying, what have you. I was thinking of involving them in some way. Yeah. Well, I mean, you've got to find out what their rates are first. Well, yeah, yeah. Leon the theodolites. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there you go. I think that sounds yeah. like an Oxford band already, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, only for George. 
How do you know he could have a portaloo? I'm afraid we're not doing ABBA songs. We're no, just no, doing no. Prince covers if we're doing them. But yeah, no ABBA songs. Um, so what are you doing? I'm yeah. going to do my own. I'm going to do the song that I kind of pre-released yesterday, uh, No Paradise, which I probably played last time round. Okay, um, yeah, wicked. But, I think the, I do. I think I re recently remember editing that actually. So yeah, but yeah, yeah, cool. Give it a whirl. Right. Okay. Take it away. My dream inspires how to be invisible. The ghost that no one can see is coming for you after it came for me. Awesome. You had a weird, you had a little stop in there where you tried to catch me out earlier. Mm. Yeah. That was deliberate. Um, I, I overstopped, I think. Yeah. Uh, I thought you were trying to make up for Liv and Pat not playing this week and like, because usually they have a song where they stop for a bit and I go, oh, hey, well done. And then they carry on playing. Is Liv not playing? She's on the thingy. She hurt her. She, um, oh, she's, cool. uh, she's got a bit of a rough rough throat today after um after singing jeff buckley i think i think that's like do you know what i mean like there's a really good video actually go and check out um getting promotion even though you didn't play live um on live loose uh music i think it is is it live loose music i'm pretty sure it is yeah um yeah. you can see a really cool cover of a jeff buckley song where live sounds in very good very good form indeed but um but yeah i think it was too much so yeah so they're not I don't know, Pat's hands, have, his fingers have fallen off as well. I don't know, something like that. So Jeff uh, they turned into fish fingers. So Jeff Buckley, was his dad Tim Buckley? Or was it the yes. other way around? Yeah, okay, so Jeff Buckley released Grace, right? Is that right? Um, I don't know, you'd have to ask Grace. I didn't realise <laughs> he had a captive. Is that some backstory I didn't hear about? No, the album, the album. Yeah, no, I'm joking with you. Oh. I, yeah, 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 he did, yeah. yeah no, that, um, <laughs> I, I, you know, you, you know when, whenever... You hear really sad story like that was such a waste of talent in that you just thought he could be so good and that was it one album and that was yeah it. i mean i think um 
for me specifically, like I think the way that that album's produced is a um, it's a kind of holdover from the way that records were made in the late eighties, um, more than like yeah. just after when things became a bit more close recorded, big drum sounds, and I don't know, yeah, like kind of it's got that eighties. <laughs> I feel like he would have really benefited from like the production that kind of came just after. I think uh, Jeff Buckley would have sounded amazing with like, you know, kind of, uh, yeah, kind of in the same way as I don't like um, the early Chili Peppers, early Faith No More, all of like those records. I don't like them as much as the later ones for the production kind of thing. Cause, and uh, likewise, Pearl Jam 10. I don't like the big 80s production on it. And then, like just one album later, they sound like the nineties and it's like, Oh yeah, that's great. You know what I mean? So yeah. I think Jeff Buckley would have sounded amazing produced a bit more, you know, in the nineties vibe, if you know what I mean? So it's a shame he didn't get to do that. I think he made up for it in the sense of his vocal range and like he, he made every note count as guitar and what have you. You know, there's not a lot of instrumentation going on, although it sounds a lot, but it's not a lot. Um, but I just rem remember it. I think from my first year at university, I thought this is this is so good, yeah. and uh, and then like the fact that he's dead is like oh god, you know, yeah, yeah. You know, I know. You know. Well, I, I, a lot of people I kind of find them after they're already gone, so I was like, yeah. you know what I mean. I didn't get that impact, if you know what I mean. But uh, yeah. So my, right. My, anyway, yeah, yeah. I shall um, leave you to it. Yeah, and that's a good yeah. chat. But um, I'll, 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 uh, I'll Jeff Buckley got a little bit of a tribute in on this Prince Day as well. So yeah, cool, wicked, and I'll see you soon, right. Leon. Look after yeah, yourself. Yeah, and I will Please. exit. Via yeah, exit, the... exit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I was going to say exit life, uh, but yeah, don't worry about it. I'm gonna turn it into a Metallica thing. Who wants to play? And uh, you're playing, aren't you? Half indie. If anybody else wants to play, just say they want to play and we'll come back to you. Just say in the comments. I haven't seen anybody else say they wanted to play. So, Half Indy, how you doing, dude? Hey, man. How's life? Yeah, uh, yeah it's getting normal again. I'm well, busy I mean, don't you, that makes it sound stuff. awful. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a bit. Uh, I, I mean, I'm really used to staying at home and do my thing, you know. Yeah, so. I know. Yeah, I know. It's weird for musicians. Like, like right, you've got to stay in. Uh, okay, I already do. What do you mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, you got. Oh yeah, I spend all my time staring at screen. Yeah, I know. That's what we always do. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I'm not really socializing with anyone. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like, I, I like uh, people. Why yeah. should I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So right. So I presume. I presume you're doing a a, a show-stopping cover for us. No, I don't. I don't want to play it. You don't want to I do it? I played it last time. <laughs> I, play, I, play, I play a song of mine, dude. Fine. I think you should play a song of yours and then, like, dovetail it into it. <laughs> if I knew the lyrics, dude, you cannot just believe this, the... but there are people on this planet who don't know the lyrics of just Purple Rain bit. by heart. It's incredible, <laughs> but true. Go ahead, go on then, do it. Do, do whatever you want then, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I need 
There you go. Also, you actually you made the internet break for a minute there in the middle. You rocked so much. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that can this you, song had it in it, but apparently. You, imagine when when you finally release it, like the whole internet will go, go down entirely and, and well, it will actually, society forever. Yeah, no, it's gonna be probably this year or very early next year because it's definitely going to be recorded in September, I think. Cool. Awesome. Where definitely, can... I think it's not very convincing, it but definitely, I think is that that that's an Oasis album, oh, what? right? I so, yeah, definitely, maybe. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> but it's not definitely, maybe. It's definitely, definitely, and I just forgot what the appointment is. Uh, but yeah, I, 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 think I, you I wrote release it down an somewhere. album called. I think your album should be called Definitely. I think. <laughs> no, it's probably going to be called Halfway There. Well, yeah, I mean, well, maybe you could. Uh, yeah, I some more jokes. I'm going to stop. But yeah, wicked. No, I awesome, thought it's dude. funny we're because I'm turning 50. Because... What, sorry? I thought that's funny saying halfway there because I'm turning 50 this year. Ah. And it took me 30 years to record it. To so. live to 100. Apparently yeah. humans live to 110 now, which seems too long. Especially yeah, you know, but, that but I want to live fast and die young. So for me, it's 100. Do you? That's I want to live young and die fast that doesn't work i'm gonna get right uh, get my coat right you, you eject yourself then dude take care of yourselves everybody yep. go follow half indies always got ah. wicked guitar stuff take How care do buddy i'll see you soon yeah Wait a second. Don't, don't break your phone <laughs> right so who else wanted to play Else wanted to play. I don't know how long we've got now before the thing cuts off. Sangeeth, let's go and have a let's go and drop in on him. Let's go all the way to Canada. Hello, how you doing? Good, how are you, bro? I'm how are things? Bad. Good to see you. Can you hear me okay? I've got a different Yeah, you're, you've got great sound. Cool, cool. So how I are things? don't know when this, um, when this is going to cut out. So I reckon you just play and and if we're still if we're still attached by the time that uh you finish then we'll we'll chat. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, so awesome. I 
to be fair, I don't know any Prince. So that's was... that's um, something that we'll have to talk about later. Okay, okay. I, I need an education, that's for sure. But I do have a song that I think you might like, and it's, um, it's a Radiohead song. Go figure. Go for it. Driving me away. You do it every day. You don't mean it, but it hurts like hell. My brain says I'm receiving pain. A lack of oxygen. From my life support my eyes Way too young to fall asleep Too cynical to speak we are losing it. Can't tell. Scratch. Our eternal is a 20th century bitch. We are grateful for our eyes. song for for the oxford crowd because that was kind of yeah, yeah in between yeah. that came out like in between what's the name i remember i went up to tom york just when that was out and yeah. i in my naive way i thought this was a massive compliment but <laughs> it probably didn't like he probably didn't take it that way i was <laughs> saying something to the effect of oh yeah i really love your new song because it's like it's kind of like a really it's like creep but really messed up and weird but then it goes into a bit that's a bit more like Heart Shaped Box by Nirvana. Yeah. <laughs> it is a little. <laughs> and he probably just thought, yeah, cheers, mate. Thanks a lot. Like, fucking... <laughs> but, but I thought it was like, I thought I was being really complimentary, obviously, because I was yes. just naming things I like. Do you know yes. what I mean? So it's like saying, oh, it's a bit like chocolate. And then you get a hint of strawberry or something. And like I was saying it like that. And he was like, oh, great. So what you're saying is I've taken <laughs> my old hit. And I fused it with Nirvana's latest hit, <laughs> and I've made like a new song. You know? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he didn't like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's what he did do, and so he's like, "Oh shit, he spotted it." He <laughs> figured it. <laughs> don't tell him. Yeah, so yeah, so on this Prince topic, you're you're yeah. gonna need to do more of that because it's okay. a big, big gap in your. Yes. Uh, not only in your 
um, mental music collection, but also in your coolness, unfortunately. <laughs> so, so you're gonna have to like. <laughs> It's funny because people always tell me it's like play a Prince song as if I would know Prince. I don't know why. They always assume that I know Prince. But uh, Because you play a lot of instruments, maybe? Could be, could be. Because he's a guitar player, too. He's a, a, well, he I actually, everything. He's just a... Uh, by accident, but he was amazing. He's a straight-up genius who can yeah. do anything and everything he puts his mind to, apart well, from maybe, like, like direct a hit film. But, right. like, for that... But, you know, he can't do everything, man. I, you know what I mean? But... I've never, I like his films. They're just I'm not hits. Do you know what I mean? Apart from Purple Rain, which he didn't direct. But yeah, uh, but, but anyway, get into like, get into Sign of the Times. Get into that album. It's like amazing. I'm, and it's got cool. a nice super reissue lately. The, the remaster is really nice. So, so yeah, do that first. And then once you're like, <laughs> like you're blown, your head's been blown apart, then it can be repeatedly blown apart as you listen to like the 40 albums he, he made in as many years. Do you know what right. I mean? And just be like, huh? So, so yeah. it, like, what is it you like about Prince? Because I've never really liked his songwriting, not to be sacrilegious, but like, what do you like about? You don't like his song. His songwriting's amazing. Like, there's like, like that... you, basically, like I feel like anybody who um, doesn't really get Prince yet just hasn't heard because he's created like Maybe. such a wealth of material in so many different genres and stuff yeah. that I think you just haven't come across the Prince you like. Could if be. You know what I mean? And yes. everybody's got like the prints they actually like or whatever. And so, but they just haven't, because he's made more music than like people a still lot. be years later. Do you know what I mean? Still going, ah, yeah. oh, you know this, Do you know this one. Do you know what I mean? So, so Sign of the Times is what you'd recommend you're saying. Sign of the Times. I think it's a good entry point. If you're not going to okay. do, I mean, obviously Purple Rain's kind of the obvious yeah. way in or whatever. But I think for a musician, like Sign of the Times is, is like, oh, fuck. Like, what's he doing here? Do you know what I mean? This is crazy. This is nice. a, this is an achievement worthy of several bands made by one human, if you know what I mean. And well, if do you don't, if you don't end up, you know, liking something off of there, then I, I don't know. Like, I don't know what I can do for you, but. Okay, well, what are you? What is your opinion of Tame Impala? Since you're talking about one human who does a band's work stuff. I, I honestly couldn't tell you much. I haven't really heard much. And are they? Are they good? Oh, they're amazing. Like, uh, there's, uh, the production, just the instrumentation, everything. It's really good. So I'll listen to Sign of the Times. You check out Currents by Tim and Paul. It's a few years old. Which one? Currents. It's the one with um, The Less I Know, The Better. It has eventually. It's just a really good album. Over my head entirely. Basically, yeah, um, yeah I don't know. Like, um... You've never heard that song, The Less I Know, The Better? No, I've never. I, no, I'd be, being honest, I, uh, I could tell you, like, probably about 50 bands that nobody's heard of that yeah. are new that are good yeah but i probably couldn't tell you one band that everybody likes that are new that everybody like if you know what i mean Interesting. Uh, like i mean oh well with the exception of like i don't know maybe royal blood or something or like i obviously i've heard of cardi b or whatever but i don't really i don't really pay much attention to the what, bigger yeah what what's in the kind of mainstream chart at the moment i just haven't heard but yeah, if it's a person who produces and plays everything, then yes. my thing is like, you leave Prince in the studio on his own for a week and he'll come out with a groundbreaking record that will rewrite half the rules of music at the time. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like that's like a one-off talent, really. I don't think there's anything... Like many people have been like, oh, but what about Lenny Kravitz? Or what? He's like, you know, Lenny, you're a dick, Lenny Kravitz. Do you know what I mean? Like, you are <laughs> not... You will never be. Do you know what I mean? And, but, and even but, people I like are nowhere near, like your Beck or um, Tantra yeah. Darby or yeah. D'Angelo or, you know, even the, the Love Below album or something. Do you know what I mean? Like, they're all, they're all obviously touched by Prince, but, but you know. Uh, but, Grace has a theory about Lenny Kravitz that he's like someone that someone's idea of fashion threw up on. <laughs> <laughs> he does have interesting... <laughs> couple of levels removed from yeah but, but here's the thing though back in the time of prince th there was you had to have access to a studio to record right so now because you know everyone has their computers and can record there are many princes out there it's just it's not so special uh, i don't know i don't know if that's true because like prince was like he was he can play all the instruments in the first place he's not like oh i'll take this loop of this thing and i'll do you know what i mean like, 
we're, we're a kind of generation of cheaters, really. Do you know what I mean? Like, if it wasn't for Trent Reznor, I mm. wouldn't know how to be Prince, if that makes sense. Like, because Trent Reznor isn't Prince and will never be, he can right. kind of use technology to take his, like, um, offerings and turn them into something better than himself, if you know what I mean, whereas Prince uh, can just do that. Where, and the recording is merely the documentation. He doesn't use... I mean, he does use pioneering techniques, but there's nothing there. He's just recording what he can already do, if that makes sense. Whereas I feel like a lot of artists are enhancing what they can do with, with technology, myself right. included. So what would you say about someone like Tom York? Because he can play all the instruments, he can sing, he can do everything, well, right? Well, he can play them, but he can, you know... I mean, it's like um, what did the Pat said to me the other day when we were watching the Smile thing... Um, he said, I said, oh, he's all right on the bass, isn't he? He's quite, quite good, Funky Tom. And he yeah. said, yeah, for a singer, he's like a good bassist. And <laughs> there's something to that. Do you know what I mean? Because well, like, I think, great. I think, you know, like how I play a guitar is not how a guitarist plays a guitar. That's right. And it's insulting to someone who's played a guitar for 30 years to say that I'm doing the same thing as them. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm just making some music using a guitar. And yes. sometimes it's even, even debatable if I'm making music, do you know what I mean? So, <laughs> it's so in a way, I think, you know, like, um, like, uh, like having someone who's as good as if they studied on each of those instruments right. is a whole different kettle of fish, do you know what I mean? I think well, Stevie Wonder, Stevie Wonder's like in the same kind of bracket. He's for a, and that, so, I think he gets extra points because he's blind, do you know what right. I mean? If That's he sad. is, if he is. It, he could be big, but you know could what? Be a good marketing trick. Once I heard him say how he saw Eurythmics video on MTV, and I thought, hmm, <laughs> ah, have you let something slip accidentally there? Do you know what I mean? So... That's funny. But the thing is, like, I was a guitar player in high school, and then when I switched to piano, people said, "Don't play the piano. You play the piano like a guitar player." But then I kept at it. And then I got to be all right at it. Yeah, so I, yeah. And likewise, um, you know, when a guitarist picks up the bass, you yes. know, they start going, oh, <laughs> like, you're like, oh, get, just stop it already, you know, like, <laughs> oh, I play away at the bass, do you know what I mean? And like, oh, yeah. stop it. Like an indie band, like a, like a, a, a I was going to say like a false bass, but false bassist doesn't play like that. But all yes. the guitarists, sometimes you see a guitarist and they play a bass like false play guitars. Right. You mean yeah. like with a, and just go on like that. <laughs> you're like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, give you everything you want. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Um, I think we should probably wrap this up, I guess, because we're just talking about music. We were talking about Prince a little bit. So, that's, does anybody else want to play before we go? Because it's going to cut us off anyway. So, um, yeah, is anybody else? Right, cool. Well, I tell you what, um, you might as well play us out with one of your songs, though. It has to be one of your songs. My songs. Okay, yeah, actually, yeah. this is a, this is a song what, that I played with the the band, the old band Artful Vandalays that I used to be in. It's called cool. All. I'm gonna have to get the delay on this. Give me one sec. All right, here we Ooh, go. It's Tiger Mendoza. He wants to play. Wicked. Okay, you do yours, and we'll go back to Tiger Mendoza. Cool. Okay, Wicked. <laughs> When I was so tender of age, I look like I was in a talk like I thought. But in time, you've got to change. You follow me now, well, of course you do. If I was a proper villain, I'd be healing the sick in the play. Dose them and keep them hoping that they one day could also be saved. But well, of course, I'll come and hear you talk. 
Of course I believe what you say Virtue for virtue's sake Virtue can hurt you, babe Oh, talk and never go anywhere If I got the pieces and there's a silence ringing in my ears, it condescends to lift my fears. Street credibility is the homeless way of life. Do you talk the talk? Well, I do. Do you walk the walk? And if I have to, oh, talk and All right, that's that's nice. Enough. Nice, Great, that's thanks. a cool song. Yeah, uh, where can we find that again? You can check out uh, Artful Vandalays. The song is called All Talk. It's one of the few songs we ever released. It was from a couple of years ago, but it's produced beautifully by Kevin O'Leary. Awesome dude. So yeah, All Talk, Artful Vandalays. Check it out. It's a lovely song. Wicked. Sounds great, dude. Awesome. Thanks Thank for you joining so us. We'll always see you again sometime, and I'll be in oh. touch anyway about that stuff yes. that I was messaging you about. And we'll have a proper Radiohead session yeah. at some point as oh, well. I love that. For sure. <laughs> Wicked. We'll do it. For sure. Perfect. Take care. Will you disconnect yourself for me? Yeah, we'll do right now. Thank you. Thanks, dude. Bye. Take care. Yeah. I keep going to my mouse mat on my laptop to do things on this. So, Tiger Mendoza, let's go for this. Wicked. I'm glad you, glad you got in touch because you were out, weren't you? I think. Wait. Yes. Hey, how you doing? I'm all right. How you doing? Good, but you're wearing a Marvel shirt, and that would be against <laughs> Grand today, wouldn't it? Because I'm just. Because you know, DC all the way, isn't he? Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, not, but, you know, kind of, kind of mixing it up. And you've got to admit, Marvel game's pretty strong at the moment, right? It's a lot stronger than DC's, actually. It's but, pretty, um, <laughs> I mean, the Batman, the Batman, there's a lot of good Batman books, but the Marvel game at the moment is pretty strong. I mean, right, you know, yeah, I mean, but, uh, For comics, I would say um, DC was more exciting more recently, just yeah. for the black the black label stuff that they did like about a year well it's more than a year ago now isn't it yeah batman catwoman is a good book batman catwoman is, is a really good book um the rorschach's a good book um is I, mean, it? You know, I, I, I was scared to because i hate tom king and he like it really bothers me he really bothers <laughs> you know, me but i've been i, I loved you. last night on earth i loved um the uh Harleen was really good i loved yeah. um the Curse of the sorry White Knight, Curse of the White Knight was all right. Um, the Black and White, I've been reading that. That's good yeah. as well. So yeah, so DC quite white. killing it. But movie wise, movie wise, I would say DC have to put in some work because Mate, when the, we, we're going to have the Warner Brothers problem. logo comes up at the end. I like a little tear comes out and goes. Yeah. Did it all go wrong? <laughs> At some point, we're going to have to go down the pub and, and sort the world to rights about the Snyder Cut, right? I mean, not yeah, now. I mean, if the film's four hours, I decide we can't really tackle that in the yeah. narrow confines. Yeah, of there's way too much. Instagram too much. can't handle a chat about the Snyder Cut, for <laughs> sure. But yeah, um, cool. So you're going to do a Prince song, aren't you? I am going to try and do a Prince song. You're um, going to try, you're going to do it. Try not. I am going to do it. Do, I, I, do not. I recorded because I missed the last time you did one of these and it was print theme. So I said, all right, I'll do it this time. Um, no, I'm really glad that you managed to get, get in here and uh, you can you can uh, be the last of the night with a proper Prince cover. Awesome. And also, I, got he played, I was just thinking it does tie in with the Marvel T-shirt because Prince played at the wedding of Black Panther and Storm. 
in the comments. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's canon. That's canon. So yeah. All right. All right. I'll dig that. You might have done this song. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's let's say you did. All right. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is a Prince song um, on a very shiny guitar that my dad bought me. My dad bought me. Right. All that glitters ain't gold. Yeah, but this no, this isn't. This is steel. It's really heavy. Okay, gotcha. Right. <laughs> I'm not your woman, I'm not your man I'm something that you'll never understand I'll never beat you, I'll never lie And if you're evil, I'll forgive you by my guns I will die for you, yeah I would die for you. I'm not your lover, I'm not your friend. I'm something that you'll never comprehend. No need to worry, no need to cry. I'm your Messiah, and you're the reason. Oh, yeah. I would die for you. I would die for you. You're just a sinner, I'm told. Be your fire when you are cold. I'll make you happy when you are sad. I'll make you good when you are bad. I'm not human, I am a dove. I am your conscience and I am love. And all I really know is to know that you believe that I will die for you. Darling, if you want me to, I will die for you. Yeah, I will die for you, darling, if you want me to, I will die for you. I will die for you. I will die for you. Yeah, awesome. Wicked. <laughs> Good stuff. So yeah, so do you do you now that I said that, um when you're singing it, do you like, oh yeah, this one's quite gaudy, this lyric's quite Complete, do you know what? I completely missed that reading through the lyrics, but once you said it, it was like, Yeah, that makes complete sense. It's, it's such a yeah, I like because I obviously, you know, for like what 30, 40 years or something, I was like, Oh, yeah, nice love song, dancey, in like know, disco kind of, kind of and everything. And then you re look for the lyrics, and you go, Oh, actually, yeah, there's a whole other thing going on. So That's devotional crazy. kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> trust Prince, eh? But yeah, yeah. But, Wait Brilliant. until you look into the lyrics of Sexy MF a bit deeper. You'll be so shocked, you know. <laughs> is, is that really, is that another kind of God thing? That's not so much. It's all it? Jehovah. Yeah. It's all Jehovah. Really? <laughs> no, I'm joking. 
<laughs> I'm gonna leave it up to you. I don't know. It might be. I haven't really. I haven't given it the proper analysis. But yeah, we'll find. Out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. Thanks, dude. Do you want to do one of yours, or or do you want to um, call it? Yeah, and come got, back another. I've got one more. Is that right? Yeah, I've got a new one. Do it. Do it. I'm going to change guitar. Thing he doesn't cut out. I'm just. I don't know when Instagram's going to like suddenly go. Come on, guys! It's been way more than an hour. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe... I think if you play if you play copyrighted stuff, then they mind. So you can only do like half an hour of DJ sets on Instagram. I, oh um, yeah, yeah. But, but hang on. But if you deconstruct covers to the point where they can't be recognised, <laughs> then you can get <laughs> away fine. forever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, hang on. It's a new one, so I've got to bring up lyrics. There okay. aren't many lyrics. Uh, how you going? How's, how is everybody doing? Are you all good? They go. seem all right. Um, Leon wants bat dance, but that's going to be pretty. <laughs> pretty good. I think that's a, I'll work on that one for a gig, Leon. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll, yeah, we'll, we'll gonna, bring. We'll bring when you say work on it, you're going to go through the whole film and take out all the yeah, samples. Basically, chop it up, right? I'll, I'll, I'll create a, 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 a bat dance mask. That'd be terrible. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. Take it away, dude. All right. Cheers. Man. Um, yeah, so this is a this is a new one. Um, I think it's going to be on the next EP, whenever that's out. No idea, but here you go. I only get the riff wrong. <laughs> See. Thank you. 
um, that reminded me a bit of Lou Barlow, uh, Folk Implosion. Do you know what? Lou Barlow crossed with Nine Inch Nails. That's how I oh, think. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Cause, uh, what would that be? Lou Reznor or, or Trent Barlow? <laughs> Trent Barlow uh, sounds so... a bit like someone from Coronation Street, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's go with Seven Nails. How's that? Se yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah. Or Nine Inch Dough. <laughs> Nine Inch Dough is a whole other band. <laughs> we should form that band, Lee. Come on, let's do it. Nine Inch Dough. We could also form a bakery. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bakery or something. More, like more money than music, so it might be a good idea. So. Either way, either way. Yeah. That's by someone else, I think. What do you mean? Oh, sorry. I thought you said give it away. I thought... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Wicked, dude. I will see you soon. And yeah, thanks for playing. Cool. I'm no worries. Thank you so much for having me. What, sorry? Thank you for having me. No, my, no, thank you for playing. We could go back and forth like this. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. I, yeah. All that Wicked. stuff. Wicked. Take care of yourself, dude. Please disconnect yourself and right. have I'll fun. Take care. Me. Awesome. Tiger. play today if anybody wants to sing then do say because i don't want to leave anyone out or then be kind of like oh i tuned in and i wanted to sing but then i didn't get to but if you're um yeah if that's it then thank you very much for tuning in extra long one so that we could fit in a load of prints and i'm gonna go and listen to a load of prints now so see you later and take care of yourselves bye have a good night and go and go and listen to prince yourself i'm gonna go and maybe have a bath take care of yourselves bye